what's up it's Queenie here welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and if you're not new thank you for coming back and watching another video so either you're thinking how did your hair grow so fast or why do you look so crazy right now there's two things so as you can see I have a wig on my head it was not the rice water that grew my hair this long I promise it's a wig um, I kind of just put it on my head so please bear with me it's still it's still settling in i partnered with her given hair to bring you guys this video today i have done a video with them before and you guys loved it so i decided okay let me try this again let me work with them and see what else i can bring you guys because i'm very very picky about what i show on my channel and what i work with because i'm very protective of my channel and i feel like People trust my opinion and I never want to ruin that. So with that being said, I have had to send packages back because when I receive them, they are not what I'm comfortable sharing, especially when it comes to hair that's supposed to blend in with our natural hair or mimic our natural hair. I'm very particular with that. And so I agreed to review this under the circumstance that it does actually look like natural hair and I am very impressed but we will get into that in a few minutes um, so like I said this is a wig from her given hair it is a full 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 lace wig you can literally part it all the way through um, everywhere you can do anything with it and um, that's what I love about it so a few specs about this hair it is hundred and thirty percent density it looks a lot more dense obviously because of the texture and it has a pre plucked hairline no baby hairs which is kind of good I kind of created my own just a little bit and yeah it's pre plucked you guys can see how it kind of just disappears into my skin which is really nice I'm very impressed with that part okay and the knots are slightly bleached they don't bleach completely because it will shorten the wigs length life the length of the wigs life if that makes sense so today I'm gonna be doing a twist out on this wig so I can get a nice big fluffy look let's just see how this goes so far I'm loving the texture of this wig. you guys can see that the the scalp or the lace is flawless you literally I don't think people would know if I went out like this. Anyways, let's just get right into this video. I'm gonna wet my hair with some water and use my Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave-In Conditioner to twist my hair. We're gonna let it dry and we're gonna take it out and see how it looks. Just a heads up about this hair, it seems to be very low porosity. Um, as I'm spraying in the water, it takes a second for it to absorb. Even when I conditioned it for the first time, the water would just kind of roll off of it. After I work in the water and it actually feels wet, that's when I go in with the leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I'm almost done my twist. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this side and then we can move on, let it dry, and see what happens. Can we just talk about this scalp and this front lace? Like this literally looks like it's coming out of my head. Like this is a real hair tutorial. This is not a wig tutorial. Okay, so that is it for the twist. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to take it out and see how it turns out. I just wanna do um, some texture shots so you guys can see what exactly it looks like in this state. So that's that. It is a little bit messy because I want it to be nice and fluffy and like big after I take it out. So what I'm actually gonna do is stretch this by putting it into ponytails like this and letting it dry this way. So in this case, I will have a huge fluffy twist out that will give me some length and shape and volume. Now I'm gonna let this sit under a dryer or air dry. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna leave it alone so it can dry. We'll come back, take it out and see how it looks and see what this See what this is really saying, I'm excited. This looks really great, so. 
Okay, so my hair is fully dried. I just let it sit by a heater for a bit and I'm gonna take it down and see what we can do with this. Honestly, this, I, ooh, ooh, wow, look at that. The definition, honestly, I will say as much as people might think like, why would you buy a wig that looks just like your hair? I feel like even if my hair was this length, I still would use this because this is much easier than using my hair and manipulating it. Wow. This is amazing. You guys can't tell me this isn't my hair. This is actually Taylor's hair. <laughs> fluff this out doing a twist that made it look a lot more naturally like a lot more it looks so realistic now regular old natural girl oh my gosh I love it <laughs> this is so exciting I'm actually taking this right off my head after this placing it down <laughs> putting it right back on tomorrow Say it again. Say it again for them to hear. It's freaking amazing. Oh, I love it. This looks so good. So as you guys can see, after you do a twist out, it'll get rid of that whole wiggy, I guess, uniformed look that most natural girls don't have. So this makes it look more like you just woke up and like fluffed out your hair. 2019, eh? What a time to be alive. <laughs> When you can finesse every single part of your life. Wow. Ah. This is crazy. Crazy. I approve of this. I really approve of this. Okay, so final verdict on this hair. I'm going to break it down into five main points, which is density, color, the match, the maintenance, and the texture. So first of all, the density is perfect. I feel like if it was any more dense, it would be too hard to maintain. And this gives it, it looks full, but it doesn't feel too heavy, so it's perfect. It's 130% density, which I thought was kind of light, but when you see it in this texture, you actually don't need any more. So I would say that's good. The color is okay, depending on your natural hair color and your skin tone, depends what you prefer. Personally, I would prefer to go a little bit darker, but that's, not a big deal, I can easily dye this, or I could leave it alone, it's not that, that light, it's pretty good. Um, the match, as in the, the, the curl pattern, they claim for this to be a type 4B and 4C hair texture, 100%, I would agree with that. Um, I feel like when it's in its curly state, it's like, it's definitely in between those two, you could really pass with either or. When it's stretched out, same thing, so, this is really good. The texture is spot on. It's not any more or any less than what they claimed. So that's a pass. Um, maintenance, I feel like this could be high maintenance, but I do think that it's less maintenance than my real hair because the actual texture is smoother. But overall, I would say it's high maintenance because it's curly hair, but it's low maintenance for this type of curly hair. You know what I mean? And lastly, the texture, as I mentioned, the texture is the actual strands of the hair are fine and smooth, but look-wise, it feels amazing. It is a nice change from my coarse hair. Before we go, I'm going to do another close-up texture shot so you guys can really see what's going on. You guys can see the color, and maybe you can get a feel for what it would actually feel like in your hands. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you a I'm gonna deal with my hair at whatever length it's at kind of girl? Or are you a I'm gonna tuck it away and let it do its thing and grow kind of girl? Let me know what you guys think about this wig. I'm obsessed with it. You'll obviously be seeing it more on my Instagram and stuff. So make sure you follow me there so you can get updates. I will definitely keep playing with it and sharing with you guys what I think. Turn on the little notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.